It's okay. Let's do that. Where's the blast? No. Well, first off, turn that other one off. Oh boy. Uh huh. See, this is why this is why we need Emily. Yeah. Oh she, boy. <laughs> she's way Wait. better at this than both of us together. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Hello and welcome to another episode of <laughs> Face Break Shit. Uh, this one, typically we do 90 minutes. You guys have seen these. We've been doing them for a while. This one is a mini one. Uh, it's just Eric and I absent. We are Gavin, uh, Andrew, uh, Emily, and then, uh, as always, absent, uh, regular fan Jack. Could you believe that he's like, you never invited me? Never invited me. Can you believe that? That was ridiculous. I don't know. Like... Am I supposed to like hold his hand and like give him a gentle kiss? Like how, I don't what? Understand what's obstinance <laughs> and what's just like is he dim? It's it's you like Clockwork Orange. Uh -huh. You know that guy dim? Yeah. Uh huh. Uh, yeah. Oh okay. It's just like not having a good faith argument. Like he's yeah. just he's just there to be like, nah, -uh, you didn't do it right. My name is Contrary. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so uh, if you're new to this, what we do is we open up baseball cards, and yep. just weird shit, Barbie cards, uh, grease cards, so we can try mm -hmm. to find my, chase my first boner. Uh, we always look for Don Zimmer, obviously, mm -hmm. Zim. Uh, and uh, we have a little bit of fun. Today we're gonna do a little bit of house cleaning. I got some stuff to open up, some mail. Mm -hmm. uh, I wanna do a little bit of show and tell. I like it. And, uh, and then open up uh, a couple of chase cards. But uh, as with all things, fuck face, ex face exists for the love and reverie of mm -hmm. one Don Zimmer. Yes. And so to that end, I we bought will... four packs wow! of 1981 Major League Baseball. Went to the baseball card shop mm -hmm. uh, yesterday mm -hmm. and bought these. Yeah, we had a conversation about the, uh, everything here facing that way, so that yes. way it's all the right side well, up. Well, I wanted the audience to see it up to see oh, it the wrong cool. way oh, first, okay, so good. they appreciate Great. it when they see Great. it that way. And, uh, we, these are only one dollar each. Yeah, these are one dollar each. That's what uh, that's what nineteen ninety nine is worth mm -hmm. historically, mm -hmm. not a buck. That's cool. Yeah. Uh, so you said nineteen ninety nine and you said nineteen eighty one, and these say nineteen ninety one on them. I'm pretty sure I've just been saying nineteen ninety one this entire time. Boy, is that what you're pretty sure of? I'm pretty sure, unless I'm having a stroke. <laughs> yeah, you might be having a stroke. Nineteen ninety one is what the year we're going for. Don Zimmer manager card. Uh huh. Uh, typically, we have a full setup. You can see we got uh, Zim right there. We got the Zim Bears. We got Zim Bears. Uh, we got the famous the the baseball bat that I hit. Uh, uh -huh. I crushed all those home runs with. Uh, some socks, of course, two left socks. Mm -hmm. uh, but not the full display because no. this is a bit of a mini show, and I don't want to set it up. Right. So uh, to that end, I'd still want to support Zimmer, and okay. so I brought some some home Zimmer cards that we can... Wow, really? Yeah, to hopefully juice how, the magic a how, little bit. How do you think this works? Just out of curiosity. Well, oh wait, hang on. Are you putting these as decoration just for us? Yeah. Just so that we hurt to be shown. I mean, if, if there's a wide or something, they can be shown. Oh, yeah, but a I just, wide. It's like, I just, uh, you know, I just want to hear. I'll, show, I'll come through here some like uh -huh. different Zimmer. Okay. Different Zimmer. There's some good Zims. Uh -huh. There's some more Zims coming. So we've surrounded. I really, I kind of like this. So what you've done is surrounded all of these packs with different Zims to hopefully entice a Zim yeah. to come out. That's, oh my God, we have that's, a wide. That's, can you believe it? Look, here's two well, PSA I, rated's right there. What? Ooh, wow, nice. really? Yeah, look at those. How about those a while You ago. have two PSA rated Don's? <laughs> yeah, baby, they're both sevens. So hard to get much higher than that. That's awesome. If, unless you want to spend money. And I okay, don't. well, let's... Um, let's just let's, get right to it. Let's get tight on the shot, and we, we have with the power of Zim. Let's open these packs and see if we pull a Zim. <sighs> okay, here we go. It's very exciting. Nah, this is exciting. You could be watching this on Twitch. You could be watching this on the Rooster Teeth site. We're on Twitch now. That's exciting. Is our uh, first? Is our first time Twitch twitching? Yeah. So uh, you watch Twitching? It there. Twitching? Nope. Uh, I had it right the first time. Harold? Is that Harold Baines? Harold oh, okay. Baines when he played for the A's. Okay. Uh, oh, this for you right here. Okay. All time great hitter. Oh, Tony Gwynn. the greatest to ever do it. The greatest to ever. I love do it. it. Rick Aguilera. Okay. Uh, oh, here we have a 1990 uh, Kevin Moss record breaker. Beautiful. Uh, and then nobody remembered Kevin Moss ever again. Mm. Uh, this is Jim Eisenreich. Here is Jim. Uh, uh, oh, here's Jose Mesa. Uh, you like the Orioles. R uh, Rick Parker. He's a giant. You love the Giants. Oh, oh. here we go. Bip Roberts for the Padres. Hey, hey, hey big Bip. Bip. Jay Bell. Uh, it's hard to read these upside down. 
Pete Harnish. Well, I mean, you can read it up, like, Edgar right side Diaz, up and then put And it. then do the complicated spin, I don't know, Tom Gordon. I mean, you're doing great. There you go, see? Willie Blair. Uh-huh. And then Greg Swindell. Mm. Unfortunately. So far, no Zim. No Zim. We're <laughs> Zimless. That's okay, we got three more chips. It's okay, we got plenty of Zims left. This is good. I feel good about this, though. Well, it's because I brought the Zims out. Yeah, which I do appreciate. You've really... Yeah. Let's set the this, set this stage. You, yeah, you've made this happen. All right, here we go. Oh, Danny Tartable. Okay. Danny Tartable. That's a, Here's a, a great name, too. It's a great yeah, baseball name. It's a great baseball name. We'll mm -hmm. over there. Cool. Uh, Milt Thompson okay. doing... Uh, what, are we, what are you... Whoa! That's a good one. We'll just put that over there. Yeah, that's well. he's doing like a Matrix move. Oh, there we go. It's a That's a Matrix shot. Milt yeah, that's Thompson pretty Matrix cool. Shot. It's exciting. Tim Belcher. Okay. We'll make that a new Chase Matrix <laughs> shot. Uh, oh, here we go. All-time great giant Gary Carter. Okay. Uh, Damon Barry Hill. Mm. Ooh, back when the Royals had a cool logo. <laughs> Kurt Stillwell. Uh, Hubie Brooks for the Dodgers. Ooh, Don Paul. <gasps> oh, what do we got? Carlton Fisk. Oh. Uh, ooh, here's Mark Davis. You're excited about all these cards. None of them. Dave are Clark. Okay. Ken Patterson. Okay. The John Russell, okay. looking like he's smuggling a sausage in his pants. Uh, Bill Kruger. And then Jeff Robinson. Mm, okay, no, no Zims, nothing. We got a Matrix shot. Nothing. I, I, I'm a big fan. I'm a big fan of that Matrix shot. Yeah, I, that's I, awesome. He, he's really getting out of the way of Agent Smith. <laughs> Ricky Henderson. Hey, all right. Everybody loves Ricky Henderson, Can't including Ricky Henderson. Yes. Maybe mostly Ricky. <laughs> Henderson, honestly. Uh, Daryl Akerfeld, Dwight Smith climbing the wall. Okay. Uh, Rick Ruschel. Mike Lavella, yeah. Dave Parker. I am, I, I might be having a stretch. I, that's what I'm saying. Gary Pettis. Okay. Bruce Ruffin. Mm -hmm. Scott Champarino. Uh, that's, that's a, a, that's good, a good baseball, baseball name. name right a there, Champarino. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Gary Templeton looking hey, washed look, out. Hey, look at Templeton. Love Steve him. Lake. God, we, not only do we not have a Zimmer, we don't have any. No, it's him. like nothing nothing real strong here. No managers. No. Brad Arnsberg. Mm -hmm. uh, here we go. Is a 1990 record breaker, Cal Ripken Jr. I think that actually counts. What was the, uh, what's the record that he broke? Uh, he was probably like, I played forever and nobody cared. <laughs> uh, Cal Ripken Jr. on July 28th, 1990, has his flawless streak of 95 consecutive games at shortstop. The former mark of 88 games was set by... Wow. Uh, Bob McClure and mm. then Kurt Wilkerson. All right, last pack. Last wow, pack. we got last pack no Zims. No managers. Yeah, it's true. Which is... Tough. Equally tr troubling. It's tough. Okay. Baseball's a top-down sport. Mm -hmm. You need to be celebrating the managers. <laughs> right, right. So they can inspire the... They're like, guys. they're like the producers of baseball. Yeah, there you go. Uh, David Wells... Oh, all right, Boomer. Yeah. Uh, Paul Molitor. He was always very good but boring. Mm -hmm. uh, John Shelby. Ooh, Ramon Martinez. Okay. The other Martinez. <laughs> Bob Walk. Kevin Elster. Here we go. We finally get a manager card. It's not the right one. Uh, there we go. Art Howe. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Jeff Kunkel. <laughs> That's a good baseball name. Good That's baseball a great name. one. Jeff yeah. Kunkel. It's, it's all in how you say it. Yeah. Wes Chamberlain. Sean Bosky. Wally Whitehurst, Chris Nabholds, Jeff. Wait, hang on. What's his name? <laughs> Nabholds. <laughs> All right, nah, let's yeah, we yeah. grab another one. Yeah, this good call. <laughs> Je Je Jeff Reardon, Tim Costco. Mm -hmm. What? It's not, it's Costco. Oh, Costco. man. Be awesome uh, we, it was? I, wanted it it to, I wanted it to be Tim Costco so bad. See, if, I, if my name was Tim Costco, I would change my name to Tim, Tim Costco. Oh, it just, it just feels Costco. like we could have. I started a pile of like yeah. store guys. Store. Well, we can put it in there. Well, I mean, but it's not off. Costco. It's not Costco. It's Costco. It's not. You're it's, right. It's right. tough. You're right. Uh, let's do something a little more current. I'll tell you what. Okay. We'll do this pack of mosaic, and I'll do a little show and tell with you, Eric. Oh, I'm excited. I opened. A, I bought two packs of this, so okay. I opened one pack at home yesterday. Okay. Is that like a treat for you? Is that why you do that? Yeah. yeah. I bought the stuff for work. Uh huh. Which I'm going to open. Right. But then, because I don't want to sit and look at baseball cards for 24 hours uh -huh. in my house unopened, I buy a couple just to, to like, it's like, 
<laughs> it's a treat. Yeah, it's like you can have one as a treat. It's like the, it's like opening a present you got, on Christmas Eve. <laughs> but <laughs> but you present. but you bought it. But I bought it for myself. <laughs> Here's the present I got. Okay. Out of it. I'll show you what's interesting about this. Now this is a Devin Vassell fast break rookie. Is card. that auto on card? Uh, no, it's a sticker. Ooh. It's not a numbered card or anything, but it is a rookie auto. Okay. And it is a parallel, and it's really nice. Saw something about this card I've never seen in the I don't know 35 years okay. I bought baseball cards. Came with a sticky note on the back of it that says number eight. I left it on. Why? Uh, I guess maybe they're like signed in piles and they put the sticky notes on them and oh, somehow it made it through. <laughs> it made it through all the queue quality assurance. It got put back into the rotation. Wow. Then it got inserted into the pack with this post-it note on it. That's really cool. Yeah, so I'm gonna leave it on forever. Oh, yeah, absolutely. That's a good one. Yeah, I wonder who, who wrote number eight. I don't know, I because they did it, because that. honestly, they did it really poorly. Yeah, it's not the best number eight. It's, I, I mean, the number eight is just kind of like two circles, and it seems like they just went way too far with them. Yeah, and they, yeah. They, they were definitely over-enthusiastic. Yeah. It was more it was more attention than an eight needed. <laughs> anyway, it's a good card. That's pretty you cool. Know, Devin Vassell's yeah. a pretty good player, but way cooler. I bet you've never pulled a card with a post-it note. No, I've, uh, no, I- Out of the pack. Never. Never. Fucking weird. So you bought one of these mosaics. How many cards are in this pack? Uh, there's going to be eight cards in okay, this pack. Cool. I okay. paid $26.95. Got my money's worth yeah. in post notes you alone. Got that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. On that one. We talked about this before, but uh, me and the crew. It feels like the more money you pay for a pack, the less cards there are in the pack. Yeah. And then it's just like, oh, this was $450. It's 11 cards. Collecting cards is a financial race to the bottom. <laughs> Larry Nance Jr. Awesome. Okay. Uh, I wish. I hope he figures it out. Uh huh. Zion Williamson. I think. Mm hmm. A lot of funny, a lot of funny stuff been said about Zion uh -huh. this year. Uh -huh. Sport, sports uh, media has really uh, had a ball. Uh, no pun intended. Uh, just hope he gets healthy. Love, big fan of Zion. That's all you can do. Can't wait to see him. Hopefully next year. Al Horford. Hey, that might the uh, Celtics MVP Al Horford. Oh my God. Doing it for all us 35 year olds. Yeah. Thank you, Big Al. Showing up, showing out, tearing it up for whatever fucking reason. No one else can do it. Because Giannis <laughs> looked at him wrong. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because Giannis Antetokounmpo looked at him wrong, and Al said, "Okay." I'm going to dunk on you. I'm going to hit you in the face. I'm going to destroy you. Al, Al 35. Horf Al Horford's children are probably driving age. And, <laughs> <laughs> and, and he just had a game where he went off. That's true. He, sa he saved our, se our, our season. Yeah, absolutely. At least for one more night. Yep. Uh, Eric Pascal. Okay. Uh, he is no longer with Golden State. Uh, Jason Tatum. Hey. 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 hey boy, uh, do, as we uh, call him in my house. Great. Good. Cool. Oh, cool. Look at that. National Pride LaMelo Ball year two card. That's nice. That's a little mm. hit. Kawhi Leonard. Everybody yeah. remember when he was the most dominant player in baseball? They called yeah. him McClaw or basketball. Called him McClaw. Feels like it's been about six years. This is my guy right here, Since man. he went to Apple, the Clippers. Apple man eats apples, man. Apple man eats apples. I fucking can't get enough of that. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I, do you ever just watch compilations of Kawhi Leonard laughing? It's awesome. He's like, he just, it, he just not goes, human. People just tell him a joke and he goes, oh, it's perfect. He's bizarre, man. Yep. Phenomenal basketball player. Yep. If he were ever to be healthy. Again. Yeah, ever. SGA montage card, Ooh. Shai Gildas Alexander. He's a very good player. That's fun. Over there in uh, the Presti led mm -hmm. uh, Oklahoma City Thunder doing great things over there. Uh, you know. A lot of fun to talk about. Yep. Not $26 worth of cards. No. Per se. Uh, can I show something real quick? Yeah, please. I got some cards sent to me by uh, uh, Joel, a friend of the show. He's a uh, he's a Padres. Well, he collects a lot of cards, and I said, I'm a Padres fan, and he said, I'll send you some stuff. There's a tweet where that happened. Uh, there's me replying. Which we cool found stuff. out is Eric's favorite thing in the world, to receive a letter in the mail that's just a... It oh, tweet. it's really exciting. So I got some cards. They're just Padres cards. I just want to open these quickly, see what they are, because I know they're all Padres. So let's see. Here is, ooh, I like this, ooh. Tony Gwynn. That's a good looking one, man. It's a Donner's 20. Yep. And then here's a Tony Gwynn. Oh, it's another di diamond. Candy. And then here's uh, the worst Padre, Tommy Pham. He's, you see, he's now a red. You see what's weird about all mm -hmm. these? These are all Panini cards. Okay. Uh, they're all very nice. Mm -hmm. uh, they don't have the MLB license, so you're not seeing. Oh, really? You're not seeing his logo. Oh, you're anymore. right. Yeah, it's it just, just colors and stuff. Yeah. Oh, how crazy! Isn't that weird? It's Manny Machado, great looking. That's that's so. This is insane. Now that you pointed that's a that red out. Red wave parallel. That's all I can see. Yeah. Austin Hedges. Uh, he's with the Guardians now. No longer a Padre. 
Mackenzie Gore, uh, he is a prospect that finally turned out. He's a Ooh. starter for the San Diego Padres. Guy's Bowman awesome. Fest. Franchise feats, Tony Gwynn. Looking oh. great. Love that. Uh, here's a Donruss Diamond Kings, Fernando Tatis Jr. Here's uh, Chris Paddock. He plays for, I think, the Twins now. That's a parallel. Nice. And then here is uh, Manny Mar Manuel Margot of, uh, I think, the uh, – I think he plays for Tampa Bay. Got another card here that says – this guy isn't a Padre, but he did get caught jerking it in a parking lot in his car, and I figured you'd want a piece of that history. It's Reese McGuire. <laughs> that's and that's a fucking, that's, Oh, I don't want to touch it. That hand, <laughs> that's the same hand that touched his dick in a parking lot. Uh, that's this, awesome. This one simply said open last, so we're going to see what it is. That's like legend. That's Hall of Fame right there. This is a Fernando Tatis Jr. card. That uh, that's a Tatis Ro Jr. rookie card, yes, dude. Yes, it is. No way! Hey, you thought there was no hope. Oh, shit, we did get a Zimmer. We got a Zimmer. Oh, man, who sent that to us? This is Joel. Joel, hey, Joel. You, you're fucking awesome, Joel. Thank you. At... Joel R underscore bear one. Thank you, Joel. Dude, dude. I'm gonna look your Tatis rookie up. Dude, wow. Okay. These are awesome. We got a Zim also? Holy cow. That's dude, uh, what is this? This 410? Mm -hmm. This two? Man, wow. We're gonna have a look at that. That's a that's a great looking Tatis card. I didn't want to say that it was a rookie because I wasn't sure, but I thought it was. Yeah, it's, I mean it's 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 not crazy, but it's you know, it's a Tatis rookie. Yeah, no, it's sweet. It's I good. think I think the real get is the <laughs> <laughs> is the story we learned about Reese McGuire jerking off the in auto, a parking lot. The auto on card of Reese McGuire. <laughs> yeah, it's got to so when we get our permanent set, oh, we're going to have on the wall, uh -huh. we're going to be able to put our favorite, yeah, we're going to have our, yeah. like, our official collection. I think uh, this, that one's going there. on there. Got to go. Oh, there. boy. Well, thank you, Joel. I appreciate that, man. I, like, these were great. Yeah, that oh, was and we got we got to add it to we got to add oh, yeah, the Zimmer to the pile. Look at that, we got a Zim Zimmer, pile. man! Isn't that cool? Beautiful. That's so great, man! Thank you, Joel. Appreciate yeah, Joel, you. Joel, you're the best. Thank you. Wow. Thank if you. you want to send us stuff, you can. 1901 East 51st Street, Austin, Texas 78723. Just address it to uh, fuckface break shit. That's fine. Doesn't uh, doesn't have to be related to jerking off, but. You know. <laughs> Who are we to judge? Not everything has to have a crazy story. Some can be cool cards, stuff that you find. We've had some good stuff that are sent, um, but I will say that the guy jerking off is the funniest card I've seen on this show. <laughs> <laughs> he wasn't jerking off in the photo. No, uh, no but he signed the card. I, I'm going to go ahead and open up uh, while we're doing mail. Yeah, let's do it. Uh, I got a letter. Uh, this is from Jason M., uh, he said, my wife and I took a trip to San Di from San Diego to L.A. this weekend. San Diego, that's where you're hey, from. Hey, that's where I'm yeah. from. You're big, you're big, uh, we'll talk about this tomorrow in uh -huh. face, but you're a big water guy in San Diego. <laughs> yeah. uh, he went up to L.A. for the past weekend, and while he was up there, he went to the last bookshop, which I've heard a lot about okay. and yet to go to, Okay. Uh, and found these cards here. Hope you have some good finds that Eric may remember from his childhood. From my childhood? It's kind of related to you. Okay. And so I thought that was pretty exciting. Okay. Here we got a pack of cards yes! from the San Diego, San Diego Zoo. Zoo. That's World fun. famous San Diego Zoo. It is the best zoo I've ever been to. I will say, when I was a kid mm -hmm. in Alabama, the San Diego Zoo is the one you hear about. It is. It's a great zoo. It's a really, it's a really great zoo. I went not too long ago. How long? Probably like last year. Really? Yeah. How, how many times would you say you've been in your life? Oh my God, dozens. Because we would go for like school field trips every year. That's where we would go. That's it. Would just be like the Sea World or the zoo. When you uh, when you did go to the zoo, yeah. do you remember running into either of those two characters? Well, I re yeah, I remember the guy with the mustache. <laughs> yeah. I don't remember the cats. And then there's this guy. Oh, elephant. Got an elephant. <gasps> oh. Ew, what? Here's a baby condor. Oh, why did you? Oh, look at that. That's cute. What the fuck? That's a little baby. No. Oh, it's a little baby California condor. That's oh, you no. from California. That's your birthright. Yeah, they were almost gone. There was almost no more of those, and then now there's a bunch, so that's nice. It's because people like you didn't think they were cute. Well, look at this fucking gross. Yuck. <laughs> Horticulture fact card. Love it. Oh, shit, dude. Sun bear? This is pretty cool. Eurasian brown bear. Mm, I was close. Fucking solid blue background. Mm -hmm. uh, don't like this one bit. Don't care about that. <laughs> Some sort of 
fucking another one. <laughs> fucking another. And then here's a bird that would eat the snakes. Yeah, here's a marabou stork. See, he would eat snakes probably. That seems right. <laughs> At least like Gavin. Is I... <laughs> oh. <laughs> Hey, that's awesome. Thank you for the uh, zoo card. It's a great really send. That. That's yeah. a lot of fun. I uh, got some more. Might as well open Let's up. Let's do it. I, I have a bunch that's a little bit older than this right. that I haven't gotten to. But we'll I can't believe we got a Zimmer. I can't believe we actually got it. That was so uh, cool. It's pretty fucking rad. Yep. Ooh. Oh, this one doesn't. No way. This one doesn't have any. There's no note, note or anything. I think this person talked to me on Twitter, though. Okay. And mentioned that they have. These are crazy. Will you set those down so we can so see these them? These are Taco Bell what? NBA Hoops cards. What is this? Uh, I've heard of so these. So Panini doesn't have, Panini's named after a sandwich, doesn't have the MLB license, but has the Taco Bell license? In 2012, 2013, <laughs> they did. Now, Eric, do me a favor. Yeah. Look up who were the top NBA rookies in 2012, because off the top of my head, I cannot. You want me to just look up uh, Rookie of the Year? Uh, rookie of the Year 2012. Okay. 2013. You got it. Oh, man. Who's it going to be? Damian Lillard. Who else is in that track? You, it's a unanimous selection, bud. Yeah. Ouch. So wow. you could get a Damian Lillard rookie in this. We could. Do you think we're going to? Nah. Yeah, I didn't think so. But that's okay. It's okay. open another piece of fucking awesome history. Thank you so much to whoever sent this. Mm -hmm. This is an insane gift. Okay. There we go. Probably not cheap. Kind of a weird way to open it, but all right. Well, that's how it... It's weird packaging. <laughs> okay, let's see what we got here. Here we go. All right, we got... These uh, are weird cards. Uh, Manu Ginobili, what? <laughs> easily one of my least favorite players in the history of basketball. What do you mean? This guy's doing it for us 35-year-olds also. Uh, Way to go, God. man. Uh, here's a Landry Fields rookie card. Great. Don't think he's in the league anymore. <laughs> Paul George. Okay. Uh, oh, look, NBA, NBA's newest analyst, J.J. Redick. And Whoa. then, oh, Chris Bosh. Nice. I saw, I saw Chris Bosh running on Town Lake not too long ago. Really? Yeah. That's pretty cool. I was riding my bike. Was and I it, rode right by him. Did you, like, ride by him and you go... Hey, I'm a big fan, and then just riding. No, I wish I had had the mm -hmm. presence of mind to do that. Those are very cool. Thank uh, you for sending us. Feels like um, Ooh, this feels like JJ, JJ Redick is uh, not long for the world of ESPN <laughs> with with the uh, salient points that he makes that shut down every argument. Yeah, it really steps in the way of <laughs> Stephen A's bullshit. <laughs> when he's like, nah. <laughs> Bob, that's not based on Bob impact. Cozy. I don't give a fuck who played against Bob Cozy. <laughs> <laughs> so cool. Uh, okay. Oh, we got one more box. Here. Okay. Let's see what this is. Let's do it. This is uh, weird. It's a weird from. All right. Uh, ah, shit. I can fall apart. Whoa. This is sick. I don't know what that is. Fucking old ass gun. Okay. Yep. Uh, we got, oh, that's some uh, some sort of satanic symbols. Cool. Paragon disc, disc golf. <laughs> disc golf. What did we get? From the disc golf store? Uh, thank you for shopping with us. The disc golf store? Uh, yeah. I mean, maybe they sell, maybe they, they sell other shit too. Like, oh, 2022 <laughs> golf, tra <laughs> disc golf <laughs> training card. Of course, that's what we got. What? That makes so much sense. What the fuck? Oh, I might save a pack or two. You should. Oh, oh, it, you know two, two, one or two of those need to go in the pack sack. Dude, we got to put one of these in the pack sack there right now. As you may or may not know, uh, I know it's a sack pack. Fuck and face. you might be confused by that. Has a, we have a pack sack, uh -huh. and uh, any you got to feed the pack sack, mm -hmm. and then you eat from the pack sack. Uh, we just fed it. Okay. Uh, fingers crossed, we get a Caleb Denicor. <laughs> We have to, right? What do you think the chances are? We have a uh, friend. You'd have to Teeth employee. You'd have to like call him. Yeah. And that would Who's be the a... second fuck face time we've called him. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Putting him in rarefied air. Oh, yeah. here's the checklist so I can Oh, okay, cool. Let's see if he's on there. Oh uh, man, if he I'm gonna guess he's not. No, if I would he think was, he's not. If he was, I would shit your pants. What? Yeah. Get ready for that. Uh sorry, I'm still do you wanna look while yep. I do it? All right. Uh, here's Kona Star Panis, Peanut Panis. What? Penis. <laughs> <laughs> Dean and Carrie. Okay. Everybody's uh, favorite, Valerie Mendohano. There's uh, a guy named Gannon Burr. That's, that's pretty a, cool. That's a really good name. Not to be outdone by Vanessa Van Dyken. Uh, oh, James Conrad looking kind of like a, like the Norseman. The Norseman. <laughs> the Norseman. Matt Bell does not. Mm. Uh, Gavin Rathburn. It's a British name. If so, I've ever yeah, heard no one. kidding. Ben Calloway, mm -hmm. Aaron Gossage. I wonder if he's Ooh. related to Goose Gossage. 
Uh, Mason Ford looking like uh, he probably looking like he works at a yeah. Ford dealership. There's a guy named Eagle McMahon. That's a good name. That's a great name. If we get that one, that's a that's a great. Uh, uh, what is this disc golf yeah. name? You know this guy's probably a dick with a name like Brody Smith. Oh, boy. And then most improved player is <laughs> Kyle Klein. Wow, Kyle Klein, you used to fucking suck. But guess what? You figured it out. You figured it out. You hey, were a fucking loser, you th- and now you're not. <laughs> you threw the Frisbee so good. Straight and hard and fast. <laughs> I can't throw a Frisbee. Frisbee's a, it's an acquired ability. I, 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 try, I can't throw it straight. I'm going to save. Can't do it. Well, I don't see Caleb on here. It's sad. Maybe next year. Yeah, maybe. Ne- you know what? Maybe he can get most improved next year. I'm going to save the other one for the pack sack, too. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, those, those awesome. That's, a, that's a good one right Thank there. Thank you so much for doing that. Yeah. Uh, how are we doing on time? We got some time. Let's oh, we got half an hour. Let's do a little bit of basketball. Yeah, let's do it. It's basketball time. We're in the playoffs. Oh, my God. Eric, who's going to win the <laughs> Who's gonna win the finals? Uh, I don't know. Please just say anybody but Milwaukee. Yeah, I think uh, he looked good. He do look good, don't they? I don't think the Sixers are going to. No, no. This, they're, they are uh, mentally beaten already, I think. Hey, Jeff, trust the process. <laughs> uh, you feeding the pack sack? Yeah, I got to feed the pack sack. Cool. Put the pack in right now. Good. Pack sacks fed. And then mm-hmm. we have these packs of NBA Donruss 2022. That's this year's cards. I didn't think that was the noise it was going to make. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was going to be bong, and then it went. It did just different. It didn't do that. Yeah. Uh, here we go with Kristaps uh, Porzingis. Oh. And boy, you know who the you know who the Dallas Mavericks could use right about now. Uh huh. Kristaps Porzingis. Yeah, I think you're right. Yeah. Unfortunately, Spencer Dinwiddie is not <laughs> showing up in the playoffs. Uh, Devin Vassell. We got his rookie card over there with a post-it note on it. Nice. Uh, <laughs> you know the Lakers could use right now uh, a trade partner for Russell Westbrook. <laughs> oh my God. He uh, dude. are not working out there no. in LA. The uh, the bus family uh, needs to make some moves. Uh-huh. Ty Jerome, uh, here he goes. Uh, you know what the Philadelphia 76ers could use right now is Matisse Tybul <laughs> to get a vaccination and then also get his shot back. The defense is there, but his so he needs two is shots. Gone. He needs two shots. Yeah. Uh, Jared Allen. Uh, All right. Uh, everybody loves Jared Allen. Yep. Nothing, cool guy. Nothing bad we say about him. Nope. Uh, Greg Brown, rookie, and then uh, Nurkic, orange parallel, Ooh. laser parallel, I believe. That's cute. Um, where's the laser? Yeah, Hang on. Good. It's... Do it again. Yeah, it's good. Yeah. Do you remember earlier uh. when we were, uh, <laughs> we were opening cards uh. from, uh, disc golf players? <laughs> <laughs> that was awesome. Uh, remember when we got the card about the guy jerking off? That was awesome. Oh, dude, I'm gonna. I need to read up on him. Oh, He's my man. new hero. I don't want to get caught jerking off in public. No, just don't jerk off in public. Yeah, that's the, <laughs> that's the solution. <laughs> that, right? There's, that's. I like, was trying to figure out how not to get caught, but I just, I just don't do it. <laughs> I gotta figure out how to do this more secret. <laughs> if only there was a place where no one could catch me. Yeah. Home. And it's not the parking lot. <laughs> Brandon Ingram. I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a professional athlete. I uh-huh. have millions of dollars. Yeah. Where can I go to jerk off? So he's just fire? cranking it and he hears. <laughs> <laughs> That's Toronto PD. Uh, PJ Tucker. Uh-huh. Uh huh. Yeah, PJ. Uh, Desmond Bain. It's been very good so far. I feel bad for the Grizzlies. Mm-hmm. I don't know if you saw, they've announced the jaws out for the uh-huh. playoffs. Bone bruise. You got to yeah. hate that. That's what happened to my butt. Oh, when is that, I couldn't, is that ride, I couldn't ride my bike. I could. Here's the deal: if John Morant's bone bruise on his shin mm-hmm. is anything like the bone, the bone well, bruise on my butt, he's th- he's down for three months. Well, think about how hurting your tailbone hurts. But think about if you bang your shin on like the side of a table. Now imagine that's a bone bruise, mm-hmm. and then it like thinking about it gives me chills. Yeah. Because it hurts me without even knowing what it really feels like. It'd be horrible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I couldn't sit down for a week. It was well, brutal. imagine doing that and then having to go play like how many minutes of professional basketball? Yeah, good luck. I couldn't, I couldn't do it. No. Patrick Beverly. Hey, Pat Bev, love, uh, my favorite player. He's always got something to say, no matter what. Pure passion. <laughs> uh, my, one of my favorite moments of the season was <laughs> the trash. NBA on TNT guys. Mm-hmm. Well, trash was great. Mm-hmm. That was great when he, <laughs> that was really fun. <laughs> uh, but was when uh, Shaq and, and Charles Barkley were clowning on him because yeah. he was crying and talking yeah. his mom after they got into, after they won the play the in game. The play in game. <laughs> They're like, it's not the playoffs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You didn't, you didn't even, it's not even the playoffs. Luke Kennard, mm-hmm. uh, Keldon Johnson, 
DeAndre Ayton, give that man his money. And James Booknight, rookie. Cool. Nice laser. So, pew, pew, pew. <laughs> Nailed it. That's perfect. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> it's my favorite sound on the Dude, board. Dude, it's... So funny. It's funny because we have one Gavin on uh, the soundboard, and it's kind of like having it's, it, one it really, Gavin. Well, it's like him, him being here because what's he gonna say about this? James Booknight? Yeah, yeah, you yeah. know what I mean. Gavin, you got any James Booknight facts? And he's like, Booknight Book looks more like Magazine Day. Yeah, Ugh, I'm British. Oh. Uh, there we go. Peyton Pritchard uh, still waiting for him to show up in the series. Uh -huh. Jason Tatum uh, would like him to show up again tonight. Yes. Uh, here we got Kendrick Nunn. Okay. He now plays for the Lakers, I believe. Uh, Jay Sean Tate, love Jay Sean Tate. Giannis, liked, I've, I, I like him. Uh, you, you like him except right now? I like him except for right now. Yeah, yeah. I'll like him again yeah, in it. a couple days, maybe. Mm -hmm. uh, Devin Booker had a phenomenal game last night. Yes. Something smart me about him. That's starting, it's what, wearing, wearing yeah? me down. Oh, that's Something interesting. Something wearing me down about him. Okay. Yeah, I don't know what it is. Think he's too clean cut? Well, I, he is kind of clean cut. He seems, he seems kind of, he's kind of got like that, uh, he's kind of got that like, that like, uh, I don't know how to describe it. Um, Gordon Hayward has it too. Mm. Where you just like, he's like smug and breaks the rules and then is like, I didn't do that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it's, just, it's just an attitude. I don't know. It's wearing me out though in the playoffs. Uh, who we got there? I can't even read that. Uh, oh, Namias Keda, and then uh, Bam Adebayo, hey. power in the paint insert. I hope he doesn't bring that power in a couple days when yeah. he plays against the, hopefully, the Celtics. Bam has been, Bam has been a tough matchup for us. Hopefully we have Rob Williams back. Uh, okay, okay. Moving along, here we have PJ Washington Jr. Uh, Jay Crowder getting beat okay. up in the playoffs uh -huh. right now. Yes. Uh, Ex-Celtic, by the way. Trey Young. <laughs> <laughs> Doug McDermott. Uh -huh. PJ Warren. Okay. Kyle Anderson. Dennis Schroeder is a rocket, I believe now. And Jalen Brunson, who is uh, playing his heart out in the playoffs right now. Hope You're keeping you all of the... Oh, I guess you so are enough. keeping all of those cards. I mean, they're all... Oh, I wasn't even paying attention. I'm not. I'll deal with it later. You're right. You're right. <laughs> You're right. I fucked that up. Uh, okay, Gary Trent Jr., Cam uh -huh. Johnson. Cool. He needs to find a shot. Although maybe he doesn't because it'd be cool if Dallas won. Uh, Nikola Jokic, uh, Seti Osman, Killian Hayes, Carmelo Anthony. Yeah, all right. We'll see where he's going to be playing next year. Jared if Butler, he's be rookie. Playing next year. And uh, oh, I think he's playing. I just you think so? Where. Yeah. Wow. And Yeka Okongwu, second year card. Ooh, that's, <laughs> that's a cool looking one. Yeah. Yeah, I think he wants to, I think Melo, he's at that phase in his career where he's he wants to win a title and he doesn't really have any allegiance to anything other than getting that ring, huh. so he can just go okay. be a six man somewhere. Jaron Jackson, Ty Tyrese Halliburton, weirdest thing in the world to me that he's an Indiana Pacer now. Hmm. Joel Embiid uh, keeps getting hit in the face. Yeah, he, that... he got hit in the first quarter last night and it took him out of the rest of the game. Josh Jackson, he was there, but he wasn't there. Kyle Lowry, he's also not there right yeah. now. Uh, John Wall, boy, he has uh, disappeared from the NBA for a while. Chris Middleton, and then uh, for some reason, Colin Sexton. <laughs> uh, well, this is one of the ugliest insert series they have. Lay that down. Just, lay, like, lay down. Live. Oh, like, it's just like gray. It background. just it looks it looks like you're looking at it on an ugly TV. <laughs> yeah, it's like live in four three from 1986. <laughs> You're just yeah. keeping all of them. <laughs> I'll deal with it later. I gotta, I'll fucking, I'm not going to deal with it later, but I mean No, to. you're absolutely not. No, you're going to look at those stacks and go, why do we keep all these? I'm going to hurry when I get out of here. <laughs> I'm just going to be like, oh. Uh, Tristan Thompson. Okay. He, uh, keep it on the court, buddy. Yep. Make your life less uh, complicated. Steph Curry. Mm -hmm. uh, Andrew Wiggins. Oh, look at them back to back. DeJounte Murray. Oh, James Wiseman. What's up? This is the uh, fucking Warriors pack, apparently. Anthony Davis. Or the pack of big dudes who are hurt. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, James Booknight, rookie again. And then Jalen Green, who I think would have had a better year. I think he got hurt halfway through. How are we doing on those packs? Oh, dude, we're getting fucking, we're down to two, wow. three of the NBA, and then we'll move on to something else. Uh, RJ Barrett, Bogdan Bogdanovich, <laughs> uh, 
Uh, Kenyon Martin Jr. Here we got Reggie Bullock. Uh, he uh, he can improve a little bit. Mm -hmm. right? Okay. Uh, Danilo Gallinari. I'm just saying, like the they the they, they, they Dallas needs him. They, he, they need him. They need to hit some threes. Wendell Carter Jr. Uh, Norman Powell, and then Alexi Pokachevsky. Man, he is what a name. Set, he's got it all. He's like seven foot two, weighs 108 pounds. And his name is <laughs> Alexi Pokachevsky. If a bird was a man. If a bird was a man. All right, down to the second, to the last pack. Eric, it's getting intense. I like it. Where's our hit gonna come? Draymond Green, Jordan Poole. I appreciate that you think there's a hit that's coming. That's pretty cool. Boban, Mer like, Boban has had a tremendous career in commercials lately. He is killing so, it. So what State is Farm. that? Why is he everywhere? He's in the trailer for that new fucking Adam Sandler movie. Yes. The hu Hustle or some shit? Hustle with and, uh, and he's Juancho like, Hernan Gomez yeah. is, the pro is the protagonist yeah. who is uh, just ri ridden the bench his entire NBA yeah. career. It's really I weird. am from Spain. That's his. It, it's all of his acting. Yeah. And then him, he's like, I'm 22. He's like, he's like, yeah, he's like, I'm 22. That's my 12 year old. Yeah. Son. He's uh, Luca's best friend too, I think, right? Uh, yeah. Good buddies. Cole Anthony. Uh, Cole Anthony did did the dunk contest this year mm -hmm. in boots. That was like his big thing. He did him in Timberlands. Uh, it's the the dunk contest is so like, yeah, yeah, I guess so. Whatever. His dad is a famous dunker. His dad is, uh, he was on those like NBA, like, or not those NBA, but those like dunk leagues that would go around. Oh, countries. really? Yeah, his dad's, uh, I can't remember his name, but he's, he's like, like, an, the, most, he's like, he's like the most famous guy. He's like an and one dude? Yeah, he's an oh. and one dude. Oh, that's, that's crazy. He's actually, absolutely. Oh, wild. Uh, Malcolm Brogdon, uh, <laughs> Facundo Campazzo. Facundo is a great name to say. Yeah, yeah, it's, I, I mean, this is a keepable card, that's all I'm saying. Yeah. I mean, we're just keeping all Put of them, so it doesn't matter, but yeah, sure. Uh, Santi Al Aldama, I've never heard of, and then Kelly Oubre Jr. All right. Uh, they refer to him as the NBA's Mr. Steal Yo Girl. I love it. Yeah, that's his, uh, his reputation. So I guess uh, his Nick Young no longer has that. His so. reputation. Last pack <clears throat> on these cards. On these cards. Andre Drummond. Ooh. Uh, Ricky Rubio. All right. Ter terrible sad story about Ricky Rubio. Demontis mm -hmm. Sabonis. Gordon Hayward. It's kind of like, hmm. <laughs> elbow somebody. And then he's like, oh, they hurt me. And you're like, dude, you elbowed him. Terrence Mann, Tyler Hero, Kevin Love. Can't stand Tyler Hero. Yeah, he's got it. He's what is it? Uh, uh, Eric, not Eric. Eric. Uh, I think Andrew said he's the. Uh, he's got the most punchable face in the. He game. does. He's yeah. he's like if a. We gotta go back to that. Yeah, let's go back. To he that. is like if a Twitch streamer was an NBA player. Ooh. Bothers just bothers the shit out of me. Ooh. Everything about him is like, it's not like he talks a lot or does anything. There's just something about him where I go, I don't like you. Yeah. I just don't like you. I read a five things about me about Tyler Hero yeah. once, and he, I think number four was uh, I'm a bit of a dog. Yeah, he just and, and I, like that made that turned me off a bit. He just looks like he has opinions about Fortnite Zero build. Like yeah. it's just like shut up. Oh, what's that last card? Oh, sorry. Yeah, it was uh, a Santi Aldama, but the laser parallel. Uh, oh, it's again. that one. Same dude again. Oh, that's mm -hmm. fun. Uh, yeah, he's a, it's like one of those like, people. Like if you have to tell people, yeah. that's who you are. You're not. That's not who you are. Nah. You know. I'm a bit of a dog. I'm a bit, I'm a, I'm a bit tough. I just don't, yeah, it's, I don't care for that guy. Yeah. Well, that's a lot of first. basketball. That was a lot of basketball. You want to switch it up? Yeah, let's do it. What All we, right. got? we got? I got for you mm -hmm. two packs of wrestling cards. Wow, NXT and WWE. Which one is better, NXT or WWE? Well, they're both WWE. Which I, one is better? Uh... I don't know. I guess. I mean, at this point, it's it's different wrestlers, right? Uh, yeah, but all of these people are like here now. So, so this is like the farm. Team yeah, for here? Th that that's the way it started, but now it's just another brand. So whatever. But like NXT was more fun to watch a couple of years ago. It was like a lot. Of, it was really good. Do I'm, you still watch it now? Not NXT. No, it's. It, Does it come on still? Yeah. Oh yeah, it's still on TV. It's just not. They really like changed up too much about it, and it's just not very exciting. So you say no to wrestling stuff. A lot of WWE stuff I don't really watch anymore. Really? Yeah, I watch a lot of independent stuff and like a lot of AEW. So you're an AEW and independent fan. Yeah, there's an independent wrestling show coming up in Austin that I'm really excited about. So is it the Wrestle Circus people again? No, Wrestle Circus is gone. Oh. <clears throat> yeah, they're gone forever. It's called Inspire Pro Wrestling, and it's I think they have a show like in June. Uh, yeah. I'm excited about that. But you said you're going to Vegas for. Wrestling. I am. I'm going to AEW. Oh, that's AEW. Yeah. AEW. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So I'm excited about that. That'll be fun. So Something you, to do. But do you occasionally watch WWE? Or? Yeah, I guess like. Just keep tabs? Y y y watching it on Twitter is a lot easier than sitting through a three hour show. 
Gotcha. You know? Gotcha. Yep. So well, then you, you're probably familiar with Jackson Riker. <laughs> uh, Jackson Riker, noted MAGA guy. Oh! Uh, uh, definitely was, like, on the roster, and they're calling him up and all this stuff, and then he's like, that's my president on the last guy. And um, and everyone's like, we don't like this guy. We don't work with him, so they fire him. Ooh, wow. So yep. what's he doing now? Uh, probably independent stuff in, like, you know, the South, the, the Northeast, where everyone else Wrestling, is. what was it called? Re Wrestle Illuminati? Is yeah. that what it is? <laughs> Yeah, the rest of the Illuminati. There's, there's choose your narrative, and I think he would fit there really well. It's a uh, different thing. How about, got, how about these dudes? Oh, it's Baron Corbin in the Dirty Dogs. It's uh, it looks. Wait, is that Big Bob Rude? Yeah, Bobby Rude, Dolph Ziggler, and Baron Corbin. They were a team for a little while. Did they lay the SmackDown? Uh, yeah. Yes. Do you know about this lady? Dana Brooke, I think, is married to an NBA player or was oh. married to an NBA player. I don't remember That's who. Interesting to yeah. me. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe it says in the back. Uh, probably not. Uh, an award-winning bodybuilder. Uh -huh. She's proven herself to be a top competitor in the WWE. She, does she still compete? Yeah. Yeah, she, I think she's why? the 24-7 champion right now. She's got a keen mind. Keen mind. Way to go, man. She's got a keen mind. Yeah. Well, uh -huh. I said that all kinds Yeah, no, you're slam dunking it, baby. So that, it's a slow stroke. <laughs> It's happening in stages. Uh -huh. uh, once oh, determined no. to be crowned a singles champion, oh, I guess. Mm -hmm. uh, Dana now seeks the WWE Women's Tag Team Champion, with Mandy Rose. Uh, she did for a while, but not anymore. Did they have a falling out? Uh, I think they just sort of broke them up, and it didn't matter. Uh, do you? Are you familiar with these people? Is that Sasha Banks and Roman Reigns? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I think that's from the mixed match challenge thing that they were doing. That's is good. Sasha Banks great. Roman Reigns good. And then that person. Rhea Ripley is cool. She's Australian and she does. She's like all metal and she just joined a bad guy team. She so turned she, heel. She's like the wrestling ACDC. Yeah, you know what? Yeah, she does dirty deeds. She doesn't dirt cheap. It really works out. Is she oh, with him? it's acknowledge me, Roman Reigns. Da -da, da -da. That's like the guy. That's the Rock's cousin. He's gonna fight the Rock at WrestleMania next year, I think. I got a rookie. The Rock still fights? No. Oh. Okay. But but like he's gonna come back to put Roman Reigns over to like, you know, I'll beat make him like the guy. First off, I got a, a rookie card, oh. which is exciting. Okay, who is it? But also this may be one of the worst photos I've ever seen. Okay. So I wanna throw this your way. Oh, it's uh, Omos! Just a dude in a in a, a turtleneck. He's like seven two. That's a big turtleneck. And that's so he's like that's like his thing is like he's a big big he's like a big guy. Oh, so he's like I'm wearing this shirt because it's the only shirt that fits he, me. He he for some reason that was like the thing he would wear like a coat and like a shirt it would just be like I'm big and that would be it <laughs> like I don't know but that's fine I mean cool I guess yeah, yeah to each his own yeah let's see what's in those NXT cards I'm sure there's something I'm sure there's something fun there most of the people in that are in WWE now so it's like in like what they call the main roster so it's like on Raw and SmackDown but also NXT is on TV so whatever let's see how many people in this pack are fire okay let's see first off we have Kushida and Timothy Thatcher neither one of them work at this company anymore. Oh really? Yes, they are both gone great wrestlers. What are they in the independent? They're in the, uh, Kushida, the Illuminati now? I think Kushida is going back to New Japan and then Timothy Thatcher will work everywhere. He's really good. Bronson Reed no longer works there. His name is Jonah Rock and he wrestles in New Japan Pro Wrestling. Oh, we got some sort of a parallel Ooh. Uh, for... Ooh, Legato de Fantasma. That's, uh, he was, uh, this guy, Santos Escobar was in uh, Lucha Underground as King Cuerno. He picked up a victory there. Oh, way to go, man. Uh, how about this one? Is that uh, Karrion Cross? No longer in WWE. He wrestles for Choose Your Narrative, which is the coolest wrestling company where it's guys, where they put like a disclaimer at the front and they go, this is for free thinkers. And you go, yeah. It's so, it's like, it's aw bad wrestling rules. And there's money in that for them? No. Oh. That's the best part. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, Oh, Piper, Piper Niven. She's, uh, I think, Dewdrop in WWE. She still works there. Dewdrop. So good, good for her. Who's that? Oh, is that Adam Cole? Yeah. He's in uh, AEW now, so that's cool. He's like the guy. He's like one of the guys over there. And this guy, Broderick Strong. Broderick Strong uh, is still in NXT. And is this referee? Yeah, that's Drake Younger, who uh, turned out to be a weird MAGA guy, too. The referee? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He started, like... He started like going to like uh, school board meetings and city council meetings and stuff and going like, we need to like stop our children from these evil acts that the Democrats are coming for the children. It was like, oh, he's nuts. Oh, he's trying to save the kids. Yeah, it was pretty exciting. It was pretty exciting.
Oh, well, All right, Eric, Eric, I think we, we have got 15 minutes left. We have time for the revolution, uh, the it. big thing left. But first, I'm going to show, I was going to do some more. Oh, you got some show and tell? tell? Yeah, that's how I show some fun cards. Okay. Uh, I don't know if I've ever shown this one. I bought this for us a while back. Okay. Uh, I don't know if I ever showed it on a break stuff. Let's so see. I'm show it here. This is a famous card. Uh, it's uh, Jun Bong and uh, Brandon Puffer. And the reason this is a famous card mm -hmm. is because the guy who who saw the opportunity in Tops to put these two players together, even though one played for the Braves and one played for the Astros, mm -hmm. and they had no connection whatsoever, uh, but he wanted to have a card that said Bong Puffer. Whoa! That's awesome! Yeah. No, that's a great card. And so I paid like 35 bucks for that. That's a great that's card. The Bong Puffer card. Dude, yeah. that's awesome. It's famous. And it's actually a Puffer Bong, and he tried uh -huh. to get a flip, and they were like, don't press your luck. And he was like, okay. So it came out Puffer Bong, but yeah. So cool. Famous Bong Puffer card. Damn. Solely exists this card so that that guy could make that joke. That's really fun. That's sad. Uh, it's very fuck face. Yeah. Yeah, big time. Yeah. Gotta really appreciate that. I think he, he'd also quit when he did it. Yeah, I bet. He was on his way out. <laughs> uh, then I thought it'd be fun to do some more, uh, some of this. I, I I showed this in the fuck face break shit. Oh, that's right. Episode. But this is uh, that's the close Ian up stamp. of the Ian stamp, the mm -hmm. medium I think we're gonna go with. Yep. So when we do runs again, where we give away cards, I'll stamp these. Yep. Uh, and then uh, you guys can get them. They look great. That's yeah, awesome. That really well. And then uh, from time to time we get redemptions. Okay. And uh, which is you, you've seen, we get them in these card in these break shows or in the daily reps, where it's just a card that says like mail this in and yeah. we'll send you the actual card. Well, I've gotten some in, so I thought oh, I'd cool. share them. Garrett Mitchell, I got this redemption oh, recently in a daily rip, and you can see this is an on-card auto, actually. Very that's cool. That's what it looks like when you get a Topps Redemption. It just comes in a... It's a little sealed Topps thing. A little sealed... Uh, that's pretty cool. Top loader like that. This is what it looks like when you get one from Panini. Uh, it comes in a one-touch. This is an autographed Obi Toppin... Oh, wow. ...contenders numbered rookie, and this is on-card as well. Why is it called one-touch? Uh, well, because it's a magnetized. Uh -huh. So you open it, stick the card in, close it, and you only ever touch the card once. Oh, wow. Put in the thing. Okay. And so, um, anyway, pretty cool. so that's what redemptions when you finally get them, because I know I've, I've pulled both of these in, yeah. break shits. Uh, that's what they come in and that's, actually look like. That's pretty cool. I don't think I've ever seen that before. I don't think, I, I feel like redemption things are things where they're like, yeah, mail this back. And most people go, yeah, I can't wait. And then never fucking Never do fucking do it. And then it. sometimes it takes up to like two or three years to get wow. that. Wow. I got pretty lucky with those. That's crazy. All right. So this is the overpriced, too expensive. 2021, 2022, NBA Revolution, Panini Hobby Box. Five oh cards boy. per pack, eight packs. Wow, there's there's not a lot of cards. Hey, Brian, we were right. How much was this box? Uh, this box set us back, and by us, I mean you, me. Yeah, you specifically, right, right. Uh, $225. Brian, we were right. They get more expensive, and there's just not a lot of cards in there, man. But here's what we can get. Uh -huh. It's a 150 card set, including 100 base cards and 50 rookies. Okay. We can look for these randomly inserted cards. Base, Astro, Groove, Fractal, Galactic, Impact, Cosmic, 75th Anniversary, Stop. He's, Sunburst, on, he's on the cubic, first line. This Lava, sucks. Astro, it's, it just keeps going. That's insane. A lot of opportunity in there. Are, okay, now here's the thing. Any of these going in the pack sack? Or is this too expensive to live in the pack sack? Yeah. What does that mean? What is yeah? Yeah, it goes in the pack side. Okay. I'm fucking not happy about that. That's, for, that's you. Thanks for keeping me honest, asshole. I'm just making sure. No, I, gave, I appreciate I gave it. You thank the you. I said thank you. I gave you the opportunity to not do that. Okay, so in this, this it just feels good to touch, too. Isn't it? It's nice fabric. Yeah, it's great fabric. Whatever it is. Uh-huh. Uh, okay, five cards going to be in here. Oh, my God. <laughs> no purchase necessary. How, how did I get the cards? You... <laughs> Wow. I think you got ripped off. <laughs> Son of a bitch. <laughs> Not again, $250. Some Cracker Jack shit. All right, let's see. You feeling good? i feeling great because okay. the first card yeah. is Jason Tatum. Ooh, that has to bode well for you tonight, right? Yeah, that should okay. bode well, right? That's This is a base card. Mm -hmm. You've, yeah. Okay, the base revolution card. Next is OG Ananobi. Then, uh, oh, Jeremy Grant, perpetual trade rumor, Jeremy Grant. Uh, all right, here we go. And this, uh, this is Aaron, Aaron Wiggins' rookie. This is a Astro Parallel. You can see the cool. stars. Mm -hmm. stars That's a rookie. That's very nice. And then uh, another Aaron Wiggins what? rookie card. So I got the regular and the Whoa, Astro cool. Parallel. So oh, that's pretty cool. Between the two. That is very neat. 
set those aside, and then we'll set this aside. Put the rest of this doo doo here. <laughs> All right, next pack. Oh, I'm feeling good. I like the way you did that. Feeling good. Feeling good, Eric. That's good. Good card so far. And we got our Matrix thing we can start. Yeah, it's pretty exciting. I'm very excited about it. Yeah, who looks like they're in the Matrix? Oh, cool. keeping the got... Celtics theme going. Oh, yeah. Here we got uh, Derek White. This might be his okay. first Celtics card. I'm excited about that. All right. Threw it on the ground. <laughs> it, uh, it wasn't worth anything. Certainly not now. Uh, okay, RJ Barrett. Uh, then uh, <laughs> De'Aaron Fox. Ooh, then speaking of... Uh, here's another Astro Parallel. There's Carmelo and yeah. Astro Parallel. Maybe the last time you see him in a Lakers uniform. Yeah. And then, uh, ooh, Jalen Green Shockwave. That's pretty cool. Uh, yeah, that's a rookie card. That's a pretty cool, that's an insert. Mm -hmm. Neato. All right. Keep a couple of those, All right. yeah. All right. Keeping those two. Just pile on top of Deer and Fox. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's fine. Uh, Sacramento okay. Kings, it doesn't matter. No, that's never going to matter for nope. them. I feel terrible. I feel fine. It doesn't matter. A lot of talent come through. Yeah. Everybody's favorite uh, punchable face, Tyler Hero. Uh, uh, then another, here's the other Wiggins, Andrew Wiggins. Yep. Uh, Nikola Vucevic, Vucevic. Uh, Jonas Valanciunas, that's the Astro parallel. Yeah. And then, uh, oh, cool. Rookie Revolution is a Moses Moody rookie card. It's pretty cool. You yeah. got a couple. I feel like you're getting a couple of good ones each pack. Yeah, I'm not getting... Big hit. Anywhere but... near the money I paid. No. Now that I think about it. No. Not even close. No. No. Nah. No. Nah. Well, what are you going to do? Carl uh, Anthony Towns. Okay. I guess you could stop buying. Uh, Bradley Beal. That's one thing I could do. Uh, oh, here's Darius Baisley. These are all uh, obviously base cards, but the base cards are so pretty. Uh, ooh, here we go. Here's a Kawhi Leonard Vortex. Yeah, oh, what this it, is a what it do, baby? Believe it or not, this is a different parallel than the other one. Can you guys believe that? See, it's different. I know you're watching this and going, it looks man, the I same. can't believe that. And then there's uh, J.T. Thor base. Great. Rookie. Okay. So that's kind of like the promise here is you got like some rookie stuff and you got like at least You get one like one parallel, parallel and one rookie or insert per pack, I believe, is how this, this kind of thing typically goes. So you can see, like, so the first three cards are typically just right. base cards. So Gary Trent Jr. base, mm -hmm. Jared Jackson Jr. base. This is the Jr. pack. Uh, only people with the last name Jr., except for Rudy Gobert, who fucked it up. Uh, <laughs> boy, there's a trouble down in Utah. Oh, man. Yeah, Spoiler, Rudy Gobert refuses to play with Donovan Mitchell again. He's so. really great. It's yeah. great. Uh, then another Laker, Russell Westbrook. This yeah. is the groove parallel. The man himself. It's it's cool. You see him going up for that shot, and he's missing. Yeah, it's pretty over exciting. Over, it captured it in perpetuity. <laughs> uh, and then a Trey Mann rookie. That's just the base. That's okay. nice, though. They're pretty. They're, if nothing else, they're pretty. They're good-looking cards. Good-looking cards. Cool. If yeah. That one that made you got one. you feeling good now? I, I might have. Okay. Okay. Uh, here we go. Uh, here's Kawhi Leonard hey, hey. base card, Clint Capella base card, mm -hmm. uh, Harrison Barnes base card. Then here is a uh, numbered cosmic parallel Davion Mitchell rookie. Nice. Numbered to 99. Cool. You can see that back there at the bottom. This is number, what was that, 67 of 99? <clears throat> yeah. That might be the big hit of the pack. Cool. If it's not, it's this, the Evan Mobley Vortex oh, cool. insert that is also a, it's a parallel of some kind, but it doesn't say. Oh, well, uh, anyway, very cool Evan Mobley who- Nice one. I'm surprised uh, didn't win Rookie of the Year. Definitely gonna be a superstar. Is this the last one here? Is the, the, the last, last pack, pack of these? All right. And then we're then we got, we're we got five minutes left. We can get something weird and yeah. go out on top. Yeah, we can do that. Uh, Anthony Davis. Yeah, big AD. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Zion again. Mm -hmm. Sam, Sam, Sam. You're gonna hang on to it. I love Zion. Yeah, cool. Lugans Dort, who's got. <laughs> it's a great name. Just the fucking strangest NBA name ever, Lugans Dort. L Lugans Dort. Lugans Dort. But he's uh, he's <laughs> awesome. He's name like really, a typo. Really, <laughs> name like a typo. Put that in typo name. Uh, oh, here we go. Yeah, they're really. This is a good one. All the different parallels. This is a really cool looking parallel. card. Jeez. That's a. Uh, that's Ty a cool, Jones. Rookie. I think that's the coolest looking card you've gotten. That's pretty cool. That's really crazy. If he becomes a superstar, that'd be worth something too. Great. Uh, and then final rookie card. This is actually not bad. Jonathan Kaminga for the okay. Golden State Warriors. He's having a pretty good postseason. Yeah. 
Uh, so sure. that's that on the big boys. That's the big boys. We got five minutes left. Yeah, we'll you got something that on the pack side. you want to do that? All yeah. right. Are you gonna look and pull, or are you gonna close? Your eyes what if I got the? the yeah, that's that's there. why I thought you were looking and pulling. Here we go. We're gonna open up these. Okay. And this is gonna. That looks the most '90s fucked up. This is ugh. brain straining doodle wonkers. It, if you're wondering what the '90s look like, it was that, but yeah. everything all the time. Yeah. A friend of a friend was stoned and drew that. Everything, everywhere. everywhere, all at once, but it was, this. It was that, yeah. It was the 90s. It's disgusting. It's absolutely vile cartoon, and then Duckman was on. <laughs> I Grunge music and this shit. Yeah, but we got Syphil and Ollie. Uh, yeah. Sticky situation. Right. Uh, these are like little games and shit. Oh. No, they got like little dudes. Little dudes in the back. Uh, also... Oh yeah, here we go. Okay. Here's a ringer, sk ringer skink. Okay. <laughs> and then here's foom for fink. These suck. This sucks. <laughs> Ringed skink. These suck. There's some stickers that are pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> These cards suck. Skink and skink. Ringed skink. <laughs> <laughs> ringer skink. Ringed skink. Skink and ink. All uh, right, whatever. We, go. we got some tops twenty. All right. Uh, this twenty. One Holiday. Holiday ho, ho, whoa. Holiday. We might find something fun. So we might get a card with a Let's do it. Christmas sweater relic. That's or pretty exciting. Maybe a, a uh, uh, what do you call it? That thing. Snowflake. Snowflake? Yeah, there you go. Snowflake. <laughs> it is a Kyle Schwarber. It's a really Brian stroke. Brian Reynolds, Cody Bellinger, uh, oh. Jake Rogers, Yon Mankata, mm -hmm. D. Gordon, All right. Jack Flaherty, Rick Porcello. Juan Soto and Kevin Newman. I like Juan Soto because every time he takes a strike, he like grabs his dick a lot. And you just go, oh, I guess it's baseball. I guess it's what you just do. No one else does this. It's the Soto shuffle. I know what he'll be doing afterward in yeah. the parking lot. Baby. Backing off. All right. And then All uh, right. for you, Top's Finest, uh, we're back in the wrestling world. Let's do it. Drew McIntyre on the cover. Let's see if we get anyone good. Can't go wrong with that name. Big Drew Mac. Uh, okay. Oh, Tegan Knox, rookie. Doesn't work there anymore. Ooh. Uh, oh, this is a numbered Ooh, it's parallel. Edge parallel. Edge parallel. Numbered, uh, this is number 23 of 150. Uh-huh. Then uh, Roderick Strong. That's cool. <laughs> what is he doing? He's doing the stronghold. That guy is not enjoying it. No. And then Johnny Gargano. He doesn't work there anymore either. What's Johnny Gargano up to today? Do you uh, he, uh, streaming on Twitch, probably. It's a big thing for there's a lot of stretch tweamers. Stretch tweamers. A lot of stretch tweamers. We're streaming on Twitch also, Jeff. Oh yeah. <laughs> what do they do on Twitch? Do they open video cards? Video games. Yeah, sometimes video games, stuff like that. Watch old matches, things like that. What did? What are we opening? What is this? This is 91 tops again, though. Uh, really? In there, yeah. Wow, we're we're ending with 91 we're tops. 91 with a start. All right, let's Our do it. Mike uh, Dan Plezak. Uh, Al Jeter, not to be cons uh, confused with the other Jeter. <laughs> uh, Sean Dunstan, one of the hardest throwing. Baseball players of all time. Mm -hmm. I would love, I would, uh, once in my life, I wanted to catch uh, Sean Dunstan's fastest throw. Uh, Milt Coiler, let's see if it break my hand. Juan Gonzalez. Uh, Great mustache. Rance Mullen, what the fuck? Rance Malinkus, Mullenix. Okay, well, that's a great baseball name. He, and he looks like an accountant. His name yeah. is Rance. Look at his fucking face. He's got a face of a Rance. Hey, look at oh, his glasses. You didn't even point out the glasses. He's got, he's got graces. <laughs> this is a slow stroke. Yeah. It's, you might be done for. I don't know if I'm going to make it. <laughs> Julio Franco, Ozzy Canseco. Mm -hmm. uh, Not to be confused with the other Canseco. No, although they both were uh, athletics. Yep. Uh, Jim Presley, Randy Velarde, <laughs> <laughs> Mike Aldretti, uh -huh. uh, Matt Williams, he was great. Mm -hmm. And then Junior Felix. All right, well, so we, no, no Zims from the 91s. But we did get an accountant. Yeah, we got an accountant. Um, we should probably wrap up. Yeah, I guess you know, that'll do it. Feel like we got some good stuff. Feel like we got some fun. Uh, this was an hour long break shit, face break shit. Um, I think we want to do these more frequently. I would ultimately and, like to do them weekly. Yes, uh, and I think we're really close to being able to do that. And then uh, we'll still do some bigger ones, I think with like the whole group, but I think weekly it'll probably be 
just you, me and you, yeah. you and uh, if Gavin's around, like that kind of stuff. I think that's the cadence, just you yeah. and I and maybe one other person, but yeah. not needed. And then we'll do that three weeks and then, yeah, and then do a big one. Once a month, we do yeah. a big one. Yeah. I think that'd be a lot of fun. It's time to feed the dog. Time to feed the dog. All right, guys. The, the time to feed the dog alarm means that uh, oh. we have to go. Uh, thank you for watching Face Break Shit. Uh, if you want to watch this later, it'll be on YouTube, I'm sure, so you can go subscribe to the YouTube channel, uh, youtube.com slash, uh, It's well, youtube.com slash I mean, Twitch, Rooster Teeth, nope. break shit. Okay, well, if you can find these, uh, Brendan will help us with SEO. Thank you, Brendan. Uh, and you guys can, uh, oh, go buy an Anal Passage shirt. It's still up. Holy shit, did people buy the Anal Passage shirt? We yep. gotta talk about that tomorrow. Yep, that's a good one. You we guys did not are crazy. expect you to buy it. You guys uh, are crazy. You guys so, are ridiculous. Thank you very much. Uh, we'll see you next time on Face Break Shit. Bye. Goodbye. Oh no.